This is Pretty Tony. He's a chocolate lab pit bull mix. He's about a year and a half old. He's been here for a couple months now. We're in the big run. Run around and try to burn a little, burn a little bit of that energy off of him. Now we're going to try to find his motivation. Pretty Tony. Pretty Tony. So he doesn't know his name. He's not very interested in toys. Definitely likes people. Now that he's calmed down a little bit, we're ready to take him inside and do some obedience. Now that we're in the real room, we can start to work a little more one-on-one -on -one obedience with Tony. It's a lot more quiet in here and there's less distractions. First, we're gonna try to teach him his name, Tony. Tony. Good boy. Very good. Good sit. Every dog comes into the shelter with a different skill set. Let's see if Tony already knows how to do this. Sit. He doesn't know the word. But that's okay. We can teach him that. He doesn't seem to be too comfortable with me putting my hand over his head, which is okay. We'll work on that. He definitely sees the camera. <laughs> What's up, buddy? to a whistle. I found that out while we were outside. Gotcha. That exercise just teaches them to being manipulated. Sometimes you may have to grab your dog. They dart out away from you. Gotcha. Just want to make sure he can be touched. It's very soft. Likes to use that nose. Good boy. You 
almost got a spontaneous set. Yeah. I'll just start to click and reward for the spontaneous sit. Good boy. Nice gentle affection so he doesn't get all worked up again. Good boy. He gets a big treat for being comfortable enough to lay down. Now we're going to just stroke his paws. Well, I would have to say he's definitely had an owner. His nails are nice and short. You can look at his ears. Stroke his chin, chest. Chin scratch. Very good. Very easily handled. I'm going to go get him some water. just because I clicked. looking to see if there's any easier way to get rewarded. It doesn't look like there is. But as soon as he, oops, that one went to no man's land. As soon as he looked at the fingers, he got to be rewarded.
Now I want him to actually come a little closer and sniff it. He doesn't have to touch it, just get a little closer. I'm working within his comfort range because I haven't really taught him that clicker means food. It's something he's obviously learning now. Now he's full on touching it. This is what this is where we wanted to get him to. Language. <laughs> lay down. He's getting a little tired. We're going to just encourage him that. <laughs> Part of the struggle with shelter life is that it's a very noisy environment, hard for the dog to calm down and actually get some good rest. Let's take him back outside for a little burning of his energy again. concerned about who's leading who while we're out here. I just don't want him to be pulling. Okay, free! Come on. Hey, buddy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, oh, Tony, hi. teach him that coming to people will always be good for him. He'll get good stuff. He's nice and tired now. His tongue's hanging out. He's much more slowed down from when we first had him out here and he was running crazy eights out here. Now's the time we're going to take him back into his indoor kennel. Provide him a nice scented blanket for some scent therapy and call it a day. Thanks for watching our first podcast. Stick around. We'll have more. I'll shoot hopefully on a weekly basis. Hey, for, Tony. For more information on Tony, check out ACC's Pet Finder website. He's under Pretty Tony, and he is pretty. Yeah. And of course, the saddest part of the KEP day is when we're going to go take pretty Tony here and put him back in his kennel. We've already provided him with a toy and a scented blanket. <laughs> 